Hello friends. In today's episode one will show you how easy it is to fool many of you. It is a continuation of the last episode in which I tried to explain to you why we have absolutely no reason to believe that the lion has a greater stamina than the tiger. It is clear that I did not succeed, as evidenced by the comments of many of you, who accused me of lying and that, in fact, I do not want to accept the evidence that you are right. So, today I will try another option, more precisely we will analyze those, evidence, together. They seemed so ridiculous to me that I thought it was not appropriate to talk more about them, but because you think otherwise, I will please you. Here, then, is the evidence that many of you have described as, scientific research, or, scientific studies. As you can see, we are actually talking about some screenshots with pages from some older books, medical certificates of some animals, field research, or what they will be. I do not know exactly what they are and where they are taken from and I am absolutely sure that not most of you know this either. And that's because the person who posted them gives us absolutely no information about it. There are several such pages, I will show you all of them, but they also deal with other topics, which we will not talk about now. For now, we are only interested in a few of the pages from the beginning. That is, those that should prove to us that the lion has a heart and lungs larger than the tiger, and therefore, undoubtedly that the lion has a greater stamina. I saved these images on the computer so I can show them more clearly. In these images you can really see some data probably collected by some researchers, on different occasions. We do not know who these people are, we do not know on what occasion they picked them. It is clear, however, that these data do not come from the same document or book, and that they were not noted in order to demonstrate what interests us. But you claim that these images are, scientific research, and, scientific studies, so I will pretend to be right and analyze them for you. So let's take them one by one and choose from these images the information that interests us. We will start with the first page, from here where, the heart of a lion, appears. Right here at the beginning, a very interesting information appears, which reads, there is a current opinion that a lion possesses a heart of unusual size. This is not supported by facts, as may be seen in the table that follows. And after this statement we can see a table in which are recorded the weights of the hearts of several long endurance running animals, along with that of a lion. It is true that we are only interested in comparing the stamina of the lion with that of the tiger. We already know that cats do not excel in endurance compared to other animals, but this statement still has something interesting. First of all, the user who makes this statement is the one who gave me the link to this evidence that we are talking about now. The fact that he used this wording, the lion has unusually big heart, proves that he saw, of course, these proofs that he gave me, but he understood absolutely nothing of them. Although here the wording and the table are very clear. And this comment, at the time I made the capture, had already received 14 likes, which on a channel as small as mine happens very rarely. And that's not all, I'll show you later, maybe, what stupid, argument, he brought me in the same comment. This means that 14 people who saw this comment, considered it so good that they wanted to like it. But do you think any of them bothered to check the sources indicated in that comment? Of course not, they were actually just approving of the man who contradicted me. He did not care who was right, but only who was of the same opinion as them. But because I don't want to prolong this episode too much, I'll tell you what I'm going to do next. I will extract from these first six pages that interest us today all the information I find about the hearts of these two animals. Now I realize that there is no information about the lungs here, but it doesn't matter. I will make two separate tables, one for each species, which will contain the weights of the animals analyzed and the weights of their hearts. Those who do not trust my calculations can pause the video and check for yourself the data collected and the calculations I will make. On the first page we have only a lion of 430 pounds, which corresponds to a heart of 1175 grams. On the second page we find information about two lions, but we will consider only the one caught in the wild. I also explained why in the last episode, but it is enough to read what is written on this page and to compare the weights of the two hearts to understand why I do this. So, I will note in the table another 410 pounds lion with a heart of 860 grams. On the third page appears the first tiger, which weighs 209 kilograms and has a heart of 698 grams. On the fourth page are recorded four tigers, or more precisely a tiger and three tigresses and the weights of their hearts. Did you start to realize why I was saying that this data is irrelevant, or not yet? It's okay, we continue. 
I filled in all the new data in the corresponding table. On the fifth page of the study is mentioned another tiger whose heart weighs 940 grams, but I cannot take into account due to his advanced age, the fact that he was raised in captivity, and the fact that the weight of the animal is not mentioned. Finally, on the last page we have recorded two lions weighing 195 and 186 kilograms respectively, whose hearts weigh 1175 and 850 grams respectively. So here's what our tables look like at the end. In the first table we have information about four male lions weighing between 410 and 430 pounds. In the second table we have information about three tigresses and two tigers, which weigh between 214 and 461 pounds. You all know that when we ask ourselves, who would win a fight between a lion and a tiger, we refer to two medium-sized males. I think it is clear to everyone that the data in these tables do not meet these conditions, and that they are in favor of the lion. But I will overcome these shortcomings, and I will calculate the arithmetic means of the four columns in our tables. We thus obtained for both animals an average value of the heart weight, which corresponds to an average value of the weight of the registered specimens. This means that a lion weighing 420 pounds has a heart weighing 1,015 grams, and a tiger weighing 333 pounds has a heart weighing 820 grams. But we are interested in how much the hearts of the two animals would weigh, if they have the same weight, suppose 485 pounds for each. So here's how I prove to you even so, with this information that you provided as evidence in favor of the lion, that you are naive and easy to fool. These screenshots have been circulating on the internet for at least 12 years, and not only did you not have the curiosity to check them carefully, but you also came to accuse me of being a liar. I will put in the description of this video a scientific research. Look at it to see what such a work should contain, how the subjects are treated and how rigorously it is constructed. You will see that such a work has a name, it is assumed by some people, it is clearly specified the population of animals it studies, it is clearly stated how many samples were taken, how many animals were studied, etc. Such a work must not leave room for interpretations, all sources used are clearly specified, etc. If you don't know such things, it's normal to yell at me that I don't want to accept your sources. I can understand that, but my advice is that if you're still wasting your time on YouTube, at least use this opportunity to learn something useful. I thank you and I advise you to take care of you and your loved ones.